our sexy word for tonight is osculate. What that means? It means when you kiss passionately, affectionately. Mm. Mm. I'm osculating. <laughs> Don't be jealous. Mm. It comes from a word, from a Latin word, which literally means little mouth. Like this little mouth. Ah, using a sentence it could be, do you, do you osculate in your first date? I sure did. And osculate a lot in my first date and other dates. And I did a little more that I'm not going to tell you tonight. <laughs> so don't forget. It means little mouth, osculate. Our sexy word for tonight. From Hollywood, California, the crucible and the capital of love's crazy carnival, it's sex, God, and rock and roll with Stuart Davis and Candace McClure. Tonight, Stuart tells us what it's like to potty train a rock star. Candace shows us how to make a new rock tale, a lead singer, and all the news that's fit to pimp. <laughs> Fuck this shit up. <laughs> now, the antidote to enlightenment. Stuart Davis and Candace McClure. I get pre-show jitters, okay? I don't know how you work out like a... <clears throat> how do you have... Meditate. Keep... Really? Yeah. You're gonna be another Hollywood actress who meditates for your fucking <laughs> cliché! Okay. Oh hey, my have god! Have you ever actually... I mean... <laughs> do you know how? I can... Tell you that I have been meditating this entire time, and the difference between us is that I don't have to broadcast it to the world and tell everyone I'm a meditator. Because you know what? It's not a sport. I, you don't have to I, win. Well, I mean, it's, it's like an Olympic sport, actually. But, you know, babe, if you don't have the, um, you know, it's I'll, okay. I, I have the, the, um, I have the same thing when you know a dolphin puts half of its sleep head to sleep and will sleep with the other half of its brain at one time dolphins mm. well that's how i meditate okay <laughs> that's because you're stuck in duality reality is the undual and it's totally not local i mean <laughs> i meditate with other people's brains um crap called and it wants it your story back i'm doing it with your brain right now the you part of my oneness. I'm meditating one hemisphere of your brain right now. Prove it. Which hemisphere of my brain is meditating right now? Left. Wrong. My left, your right. Do you have any idea who I am? Oh. I'm Glenn fucking Beck. And I'm Nancy fucking Grace, and this is the news for Sex God Rock and Roll. Sex! <laughs> condoms now have advertisements on them. Not just the wrapper, the condoms themselves will feature color pictures. What kind of pictures? Gene Simmons' tongue fully extended along the length of your erect member. What's that? Your member's not erect anymore? Maybe that's because Gene Simmons' tongue is all over it. The song Lick It Up will never sound the same again. Kinky you. Prudes and tightwads are in a tizzy at Northwestern University because a professor who teaches sexuality allowed a live sex demonstration in the classroom. The guilty, let's just call him... Professor awesome. awesome was reprimanded by the UNIF president, although on the upside, enrollment has swollen. There was an app for that. 
Apple removed an app from their store claiming to cure people of being gay. The app, created by a religious ministry, was pulled for being offensive. Moments later, Ted Haggard was back to offering communion through a glory hole. America made me do her. Newt Gingrich, who divorced his second wife and married a congressional aide he was having an affair with, says his love for America drove him to cheat on his second wife. It makes sense if you don't think about it, said America. I see the frisky future. Cornell University Lab Research has produced, quote, highly statistically <laughs> evidence for psychic precognition. I knew I was going to screw that joke up, especially when associated with eroticism. Show me your tits and I'll tell you the future, freshman Ned Sully shouted at the spring kegger. God. Nation of Islam talks UFOs. The Nation of Islam added UFOs to the agenda of discussions. Farrakhan is now on record saying that aliens will, quote, rain destruction on white America, but save those who embrace the Nation of Islam. So, those UFOs are probably not the peace train that Muslim Cat Stevens sings about. Poo sniff and pooches. Man's best friend is saving lives in a whole new way. Labrador retrievers demonstrate a 98% accuracy rate in sniffing out bowel cancer and stool samples. I'm trying to save your life, said this man's best friend. Rock and roll! Dyslexic sound check. Belgian researchers say there is no link between dyslexia and lack of musical ability. Attempts and to dyslexia treat with unwarranted are therapy music, with now here Stewart explain Davis a song to. All the lack of person's ability, dyslexia, and Sad songs say so much. Research shows kids who listen to music are more likely to be depressed compared to kids who read books, unless the music is ABBA and the book is Diary of Anne Frank. Then it's the other way around. Adam Ant rant. Adam Ant says newfangled technology is ruining life. The 80s pop star told the Toronto Sun, I don't like the people that invented the internet. Well, I didn't care for goody two-shoes, snapped Al Gore. Ant says his next album will not be available for sale on the internet, a move perfectly timed with people's plans to not buy his next album. Big rave in the brainwaves. A composer from the University of Plymouth has invented a musical instrument which is integrated with an EEG machine. It allows people to compose music using nothing but their thoughts. I actually used this on my new album and I was pretty blown away with the results. I'm Nancy fucking Grace. And I'm Glenn fucking Beck. And that's the news from sex, God, and rock and roll. What's on your papers? Oh, just some Newtonian physics. Really? Some stuff I do in my spare time. <laughs> and the stuff that I had to say earlier. Why are you so afraid of quantum? Quantum? Quantum physics. Is that a black guy? Look. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, quantum efficiency. That is the I most amazing hip hop album of 2000. Right? Quantum Reficiency? Quantum Reficiency. You should call Jay Z. Yeah, you should, man. Actually, I think Quantum Reficiency might have. with Beyonce on the down low. Welcome to another Rock Tales, where we make amazing cocktails inspired by rock and roll. Tonight, we're gonna make a lead singer. Remember, you have to be 21 years of age to drink, and never drink and drive. For this Rock Tale, you're gonna need two mirrors, a strawberry, whoops, and gold dust. Arrange the mirrors so you can see your face from various angles. Now 
Now take the champagne. Notice it's crystal. Freak out. Call your agent and say it's right there in the fucking rider, man. Don Perignon. Huh. That's much better. Next, take the strawberry and dust it with the gold. Now be sure to use genuine gold dust or, you know, it won't be expensive. Yeah. You just don't like the pattern on that. Dust another strawberry. Yeah, that one's just not right either. All right, let's... Nope. God. What is wrong with these strawberries? All right, let's just do two at a time. That's... Nope. Precious stones. That's more like it. Now, drop it into the champagne. Hold the glass up to the light and listen to the bubbles. What are they saying? They say, you, you are this band. This band would not exist without you. You're the voice, the face, and this project is nothing without you. You sold millions of records. You have throngs of worshipers. You're beautiful and gifted, and you are so sick of the jealousy and envy of losers trying to siphon off your light. Well, they won't. They can't. You're the lead singer, damn it. Now go out there and eclipse them all once again with you. You. There's a man at the mic Six foot three Tall and beautiful But that's not me I'm a boy With a bottle of juice <laughs> Waxed and wet and dirty I've seen all the wonders of the world I've seen all the wonders of the world Decide if I should figure it, figure it out I guess I wonder what the fuss is about Soon as I know I will be spitting it, spitting it, spitting it out I wanna, I gotta, I better, I'm gonna I wanna, I gotta, I better, spit it out Spit it out Spit it Spit it I'm on a 
I love liquids. If it's liquid, I will put it in me. Coffee, water, bourbon. I like to stay hydrated, but I have to pee all the time. I'm always looking for something to pee into, a toilet, a bottle, the future. To answer your question, yes, I have tried adult diapers and I nixed them because they look heinous with every outfit I own. In order to preserve my silhouette, I don't even wear underwear, much less diapers. The biggest problem arises at night. The bathroom is like 35 feet from the bed. That may not sound far, but the walk occurs in night dream pee time. So it's temporal taffy. Each step stretches on and on. Last night I woke up and I had to pee for the third time. I was pissed. I was like, screw this, what am I, a nomad or something? With all this walking and pissing? What am I, the night piss watchman at the whiz bank? This is bull piss. I searched for a solution. It was 4.30 a.m. My wife was asleep, but you can never be sure with her. She's a bit of a light sleeper, and she wakes up at five, so this was cutting it close. She's forbidden me from peeing into bottles by the bed. I've tried to explain the historical merits of a chamber pot, but no. I noticed the bedroom windows were open. They were about crotch level. The only problem? The screens were in place. On the engineering side, there is admittedly a lot I don't understand about screens, like how much wind moves through them or how much light they occlude, and it turns out how much fluid will filter through them. My guess at 4.30 a.m. was that a stream of urine would pass right through one of those babies, one golden arc flowing through metal mesh. I really had to pee. I had one of those piss boners. My wiener was engorged, fattened up from the promise of a good squirt. I wasn't horny. It's just the titillating quality of urination. It involves touching the sword. I got out of bed quietly in order to not awaken my wife. I got in front of the screen and let fly with a hot stream of piss. I knew it was crucial to commit to this process, that failure would only result from a half-hearted effort. I envisioned myself holding a fire hose and blasted full force into the metal grid, and it all splashed back. It turns out you can't piss through a screen any more than you can stop pissing once you start. And so I spent about 60 seconds whizzing all over the inside of my house, all over the inside of the windowsill, all over the carpet, and all over my legs. My mistake was compounded by my stubborn response. Even after I saw pee splashing all over, I kept moving the urine stream around as if there might be some sweet spot on the screen where piss would go through, a secret opening of sorts, like a closet urinal in the line of the piss in the wardrobe. None was forthcoming. And as I probed the fine wire lattice with my hot yellow sensor, my anxiety grew. My wife stirred in bed and I knew what was coming. I pushed harder, damn it, needing to get rid of all the pee now, now, before I was discovered sloshing acrid yellow all over the inside of our beautiful bedroom. I was about 95% done when my wife rolled over and squinted at the odd silhouette of me wiggling in front of our window, and she mumbled, what, what are you doing? But I know my wife, and I knew that if I maintained a relaxed body language and an even tone of voice, she would be too groggy to assemble the clues. With what was possibly the best poker face I've ever summoned, I replied, You've been farting, so. I opened the window. Oh, I'm sorry. I can't help it. I know. Don't worry about it. Just go back to sleep. I love you. I crawled back into bed and rolled around a bit to wipe off my dripping dong. I smiled, knowing the score was now Davis 1, Nature 0. You could kill Euclid with all of these angles Shaped by apes, raped by angels Sex, God, Rock, and Roll is supported by Direct Event Insurance because they rock and they're sexy. 
and sex, and they're spiritual as well because they alleviate the suffering of many people by covering them with insurance. Let's say you're having a wedding or a party or a big event and it's going to be fun and amazing, but you want to worry about insurance. So you go to directeventinsurance.com and they'll cover you. Super simple, super easy. You go back to having fun. Pow! It's a huge smiley face on your heart. Directeventinsurance.com. They're the bomb. Tell your mom.